and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. So in today's video we are going to be talking about another NYX palette. Is it NYX or is it NYX? I've heard it pronounced both ways. I've actually reviewed a couple of their other collections on my channel. I reviewed their Pride collection, their Christmas collection, which was Diamonds and Ice Please. I saw that they were releasing a Valentine's Day collection. I just had to scoop it up and review it for you all. I'm not actually sure what the collection's called. It might just be like Valentine's Day collection, but pretty much it just comes with one palette and two lip bundles. So the palette is called To Me, Love Me, and it looks just like this. It retails for $30, which is a little pricey for drugstore. I mean, it's kind of debatable. Is NYX full drugstore? They're not quite high end. They're kind of like in that in between. But honestly, the $30 price point is nothing we haven't seen before from them. I remember a few years back when they released their Elements collection and each of the palettes were $30 and people were hopping mad. <laughs> we have another $30 palette here and then they had two lip bundles and they both retailed for $9. Supposedly these are new shades and I just got the To Me Love Me. Oh, this must be the name of the collection, To Me Love Me. So the bundle that I got is the name of the bundle that I got is unclear, but it pretty much just comes with a bright pink gloss and then a deeper red gloss. And the shades are Sorbet, like bay, and Toasted Marshmallow. So they look just like this. And like I said, it retails for $9. So that's $4.50 a piece, which really is honestly not bad because Lately, in the drugstore, like lip glosses, I swear, they're like five, six dollars. So this is actually cheaper than what you see in the drugstore. So if you're mad about the price of the palette, then maybe go for the lip glosses instead. So now onto the palette. Now, it has this little like string that opens and closes it, <laughs> just kind of like a letter, which, okay. The packaging is really cute, I'll give you that, but I'm torn about this little string because yes, it is totally cute, it goes with the whole love letter aesthetic theme, but honestly, if you're using this palette like every single day, this is going to get super annoying, super fast. So it opens up just like this, just like a little envelope. Unfortunately, no mirror, which is kind of a bummer because if you're paying $30 for a palette, maybe you want a mirror, and it says... But first, me. I really like the message behind this collection and it's pretty much just love yourself this Valentine's Day. It looks like we get 18 shadows and the pan sizes are a little bit on the smaller side. They're not the biggest. And for the most part, I kind of like the color story. You know, it makes sense. You got some purples, pinks, you know, sort of kind of a couple whiter shades for that whole Valentine's theme. And then you have I don't know if I call this red it's kind of more like a magenta color so I was a little bit disappointed that they didn't have like a bright red shade in this palette like these two shades right here the top and the bottom look nearly identical so honestly they could have traded one of those in for a bright red shade but overall it's still a cute palette and some of these colors definitely caught my attention like this purple shade in the corner my eye keeps going to it like and same with this purple shade and these pinks right here so I love me some pinks so I'm just gonna pull you in and we're gonna create an eye look I'm just thinking kind of like a purple and pink Valentine's Day themed look so the first thing I'm gonna do is take party of one and just sweep it all over the lids I definitely want a lighter color all over the lid to really make that pink and purple shade it just pop oh this eye's a little bit red i don't know if it's because i have another sty coming you know forever good styes or if it's because i was playing with my dog and he does this thing where he snout punches me all the time like he literally just goes with his snout and so i was playing with him and he snout punched me in the eye just like that so it kind of hurt, but it didn't hurt enough where I would think it would leave like a 
really red mark. So that's also partially why we're putting down this shade, just to kind of even out that redness. I actually remember that. I was over at my friend's house the other day, and she has a cat. And my eyes were super itchy and red, and I was like rubbing them a lot. So that's probably where the redness is from. So the white looks pretty good. You know, it's not like, wow, so opaque. I mean, it's not really even a white shade. It's kind of like this off purple shade I guess I don't know it's like a white with a purple undertone but you know it looks it's not the most opaque but you know what I don't want it to be extremely opaque I just wanted to kind of one color on my lids it is a pretty powdery shade I noticed like there was dust all over the place so just keep that in mind now for the crease I think I'm going to go in with darling duh when I was like in my early teens, we hung out with this group of boys. They were like, I don't know. They were just our pack. <laughs> and I can't even remember, probably cause I was kind of like ditzy or dumb or something like that. They nicknamed, they nicknamed me Duh. When I see that, I think of that memory. <laughs> okay, so the pink, pretty vibrant. Pretty vibrant, I'm liking that. However, it is, kind of patchy but I really like how this pink has a purple undertone to it some pinks can be a little tricky for me to wear because I feel like I look better in cool tones versus warm tones so if it's a warm tone pink it's a little hard but I actually really like this pink and it's pretty buildable too so actually this shade I really like this shade it's pretty unique I don't think I really have anything like this in my collection. So now I'm just gonna take my Brendan, my Brendan, now I'm just gonna take my Blendin brush, which is looking a little funky, blend this out. By the way, I pretty much use, ooh yeah, it's very patchy. By the way, if you ever wonder what brushes I use, I'm using the Take Me Back to Brazil set from BH Cosmetics. I really like this set. Took that pink a little bit higher than I wanted to, but whatever, it's all good. I've got hooded lids. <laughs> so honestly, it's a really pretty pink shade, but I'm not crazy about how patchy. Next, in the outer corner, I'm taking this bright pink shade called Finessin. I, oh my gosh, look at that. Again, this is a pink that has a purple undertone to it. Really love that, oh my gosh gosh Ooh, that's really pretty it does lose a little bit of its vibrancy when you blend it but overall not too bad you could probably like go back in and build it up if you really wanted to wow so pigmented Okay, that's really pigmented, and probably because I forgot to mention that these three pink shades and this purple shade right here, they are actually pressed pigments. These two as well are pressed pigments. So this is why this is actually called a shadow palette instead of an eyeshadow palette. You'll find that in palettes that have pressed pigments, they can't actually call it an eyeshadow palette because technically the pressed pigments are not approved for use on the eyes in the US. So other countries approve it. Now the reason why they say that is it's not because it has like some crazy chemical in it that's gonna like blind you. It's just because the pigment is so deep that it's gonna stain your eyelids and you usually see that in like your pink and red shades for the most part. And yes it does stain your eyelids. That happens to me quite a bit when I use those pressed pigment shades like it will stain it for a day or two it's not a big deal it's a light stain in, and honestly it just kind of maybe looks like I rubbed my eyes a little bit and it's really not bad at all but as always you know if that makes you a little bit nervous just do like a patch test on your arm or something see how you react to it and if everything's okay it probably probably I don't want to say yes, go for it, and then something happens, but it would probably be safe for you. I'm just telling you my experience that I've used pressed pigments on my eyes plenty of times, and it's been okay. It just stains, 
and that's the most that happens to me. And of course, if you're not comfortable using it on your eyes, then don't, but just keep that in mind. If you're not comfortable using pressed pigments on your eyes, that one, two, three, four, that six shades in this palette are pressed pigments, so maybe it might not be your full money's worth. All right, so now I'm taking this beautiful purple shade called Feelings. Look at that, so pretty. Put in that on the inner corner. Ah, I was kind of afraid that was gonna happen. This purple is a little bit of a letdown. Well, okay, I mean, I guess it's still buildable. All right, this purple was tricky as it is, and honestly, when you blend it, it's like, blends away to pretty much almost nothing, so just keep that in mind. But there we have it. So now I'm just gonna take But First Me, and I'm gonna put that on my brow bone. Now we go on in with She Flexin', and I'm just gonna like, I really like how these pink shades have purple undertones to them as opposed to red. So one, so one good thing that I noticed about this palette is that even though some of the shades are a little bit powdery in the pan, like there is literally like zero fallout on my eyes. So that is amazing. So just to top this look off, I think I'm going to go in with Totally Hooked. It a little bit wet. That looks like it jazzed it up a little bit, but looks like it didn't make too much of a difference. Why does it look like ugh, that purple is a spray over? Ugh, I hate when brands do that. When they make their glittery shades like a spray over. Here we have Toasted Marsh. Wow. And it's like a brown with purple undertones. I really like the purple undertones that they're doing. But I think I'm gonna take Sorbet and make that the one I put on my lips. Love the smell of their lip products. It's like a baked good. So really nice and sweet. I think it pairs well with the palette. You got your like, soft and sweet Valentine's Day lip, and then you got your vampy. It's nighttime on Valentine's Day lip. <laughs> okay, so my final thoughts on the palette is I personally liked it. I really liked the fact that a lot of the shades I played with had purple undertones. I just felt like it was more flattering to me. If you're somebody who looks better in warm tones, then this palette's probably not for you. I kind of annoyed by the fact this doesn't have a mirror because you're paying $30 for it. I mean, come on, get with the program. And to be honest, this packaging is probably going to get super annoying, like fiddling with it and doing the whole string. So even though it's cute, I don't really like that. <laughs> I wish it kind of was maybe like you open this and then you pulled out a palette because so that we could ditch this if you want to because this is going to get annoying really fast. I'm really cheesed off that these really pretty glittery shades are spray overs. I don't like that. Probably would have thrown in a bright red like I said, but overall still pretty happy with the color selection. However, to have six of the shades in here be pressed pigments and then saying it cannot be used on or around the eye, I think is really gonna deter some people from wanting to buy the palette, especially for $30. <laughs> yeah, it's a little touch and go. Overall, like, I really like the look I came up with. I thought the colors were really pretty. They blended nicely and they were a little bit patchy. However, they did blend out beautifully. Like, I didn't struggle to blend them and the colors had like no fallout, which was amazing. So I'm 50-50 on this palette. There are definitely some cons with it, which I can't fully recommend it. However, I do see myself reaching for this palette again because I really like the look I came up with. So using the information I told you, I guess 
you know, you can decide for yourself if this $30 price tag is worth it to you or not. So there you have it. There's my review. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and yeah, that's all I have to say. Oh, and the lip glosses were nice. <laughs> all right. Bye.